Hello and welcome to This and That. I'm Dave Lees. And I'm Jonathan Byer. Do you feel like we're dirty because it's a Monday night? <laughs> you. I feel wrong and it's bad. But okay. <laughs> it's not our fault. We're trying to be better for the viewers. This is the skating lesson. We are going to be discussing all things going on in figure skating on Monday. So if you are new here, please subscribe below. Yes, it's not Sunday. You can have Monday fun day. I'm sorry if you're up late for work tomorrow. The Cup of Russia was not working with us. And if we just only did the short, then it was like, why aren't you talking about the long, you idiots? And we know that people watch the show later on. And we thought, why not just suspend it one day? There wasn't that much that happened in China. It's we, true. We, we need to fill out the show all at once. So. And for those like kind of newish to TSL, like I remember this Sunday phenomena is a kind of a recent thing. I remember depending on the way certain like things trickled in, we used to do Wednesday nights and Thursday nights and all sorts of crazy stuff, yeah. Yeah, this is newer. You know, sometimes with Jenny, it would be Saturday or Sunday, you know, it would be whatever. We used to try to get it up when the event ended. And it actually, yeah. topic for another conversation, but we even met with different people like from YouTube and stuff. And they were like, well, you know, you should have a schedule and like, yes, but we deal with a sport that stuff is like really hot topic within a very short window of time afterwards. Right. But meanwhile, you got like someone in consulting who like tells you like the obvious like. Yeah. Oh, oh, thanks for that tidbit. Yeah. <laughs> they tried that. Yeah, okay. Anyway, what a week, Jonathan. So I'm um, gonna put a disclaimer out. I kept my eyes getting better, but I burst a blood vessel in my eye, Jonathan. And I don't. And no, yes, exactly. you do know. Yes, you do know. Don't know exactly. No, there are two theories. <laughs> okay. And I think it might be like a combo deal of what Okay. Happened. First of all, like everyone, I think I was refreshing the New York Times website between Tuesday and Saturday as if I could make the numbers change faster. <laughs> It's like an Olympic result, like when we were like younger and you couldn't watch it live and you're like, what is it? What's the result? What's the result? Yeah. Yes. Or if any gymnastics fans knows when you're refreshing the scores and trying to make them come. Yes. Okay. I thought the sheer force of my personality could get them to come. You know, <laughs> didn't work. Okay. That's why we're sending the skaters to Las Vegas, Nevada for nationals. That's so right. <laughs> uh <laughs> so they can tally up the score slowly then. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> so, and also the same day, you know, in the middle of all of this wonderfulness, Galena decided on Thursday that, you know, we're going to do flip again. And, you know, if you're new here, I hurt my right ankle. It was pretty, pretty bad. And it's still, it's getting better on the ice, but it's, you know, a doozy. It's strengthening. And well, she decided it was time to restore that jump as the Russians say. And um, she wanted me to do the new entrance. And I didn't, in my mind, I couldn't figure out what she wanted. And she <laughs> wants me to do this like left inside edge where you hold it forever. But okay. she's talking about my arms, and I understood that she wanted me to twist one way, but then she was talking about my right arm. It made no freaking sense. And she, but she was being very animated and hysterical. I didn't have a clue what she wanted me to do. She was like, wave for wave to Trump, Trump forever, and then no more Trump. And I was like, <laughs> not a clue. You're like, how, how did you teach people in the 90s how to do this? Let's do that version. <laughs> then, she put her glove on a stick and she was like, Trump forever. Like she was really getting into it. You know, she's, she's very, very What animated. does that mean, Trump forever? She was a uh, supporter. I guess she was gonna like wave your arm, like people at a rally. I don't know if she wanted me to have my right arm up when I do the mohawk and then swoosh it across. Like I haven't, but again, you're asking the same questions I am. Yeah. Well, and then sometimes the goal is not even to figure out how to do an entrance to the flip. It's just, you're translating only and trying to, Right. Please her quickly, yeah. Imagine asking Tarasova a question. Mmm. <laughs> but see, I'm that guy, I'd probably rather sit and talk to her and ask that like, questions on the philosophy of that arm movement instead of just go do it. <laughs> you wouldn't. That would be very far. You wouldn't. Okay, okay. <laughs> no. Because I usually have an hour lesson, Tuesday, Thursday, if you're counting. Um, <laughs> but she'll teach for like longer. Yeah. So, and as the lesson goes on, she gets more intense. Mm, okay. 
So we were having a really nice day. Things were going well, we're doing edges, we're doing jumps, they're getting good. And then she's just like throwing them out, you know, like, I knew she was gonna make me do this today. Yeah. Like I knew this was gonna be the day. And like, I couldn't figure out what she wanted. And because I was thinking so much about what the hell does she want me to do with my right arm? Because I know she wants my left arm in front. I have no freaking clue. I'm thinking so much about that that I'm not doing the edge at all. Like I'm just right. like not doing the edge, right? How and could you? She, yeah. And she also loves to like scream right as you go into the jump. <sighs> Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And also like when I'm when I fell and like you get up, that's when she's like, divide, 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 you know, like and and like, there could be like kids there. Like she does not care. She wants okay. me to like just skate into them. Like there's this kid, little Walter. He has an Instagram account. I think it's his mom that runs it, but she's always like, that kid will learn. And I was, I'm like, his mother likes all of my posts. Like, uh-uh, okay, no. And I'm not here to teach him about etiquette. I'm just trying to learn my damn flip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a real gem. It's a real gem. Um, so I didn't know if she was saying skate or stay. And you know, she finds herself very clear when she's speaking. I know, and there's that window of opportunity sometimes when you can ask for clarification once, but twice you're like, I've got to just figure this out now. Yeah. Yes. So that was our day. So I did it so many times. All I know is that that night I looked in the, the mirror and like the, the, I was red. <laughs> like it was, I was like the blood vessel has burst. So Like out of like stress and intensity, do you think? I think, so. I think it was wow. a combo deal of like tired and work and the week and just like everything. Like, I don't know what, which individual thing put it over. Also, I was trying to fix her iPhone in Russian because it updated and she decided she wants no passwords. It's a pain in the neck. This is bullshit, she would say. Well, somebody grab that phone because you're gonna have access to the world, yeah. Like I have no secrets, no secrets on my... <laughs> I'm gonna argue that point, Kalina. <laughs> then here, give me your phone for a second. <laughs> she was doing something else. It's gonna come to me. She was, was a lot of Kalina this week. She was in Fuego, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my God. She was telling me about one of her students when they went to train with the Terry. Oh, I tried to ask her if she was a, if she's a tougher, if, is it Terry tougher than her? She didn't understand the question. Oh yeah. I, I, I'm like, and what you meant by tougher? Mm. I do not understand the question. It, okay. You're like the way you're screaming at me with a glove, like, is that like a Terry do you think? Or does she like scream more with two gloves? Like. <laughs> What intensity level are we at here? <laughs> okay. I was talking to this one girl this week who trained both in a Terry's rink and at CSKA. She said that the, the environment at Terry's rink just runs off of fear. Mm. Like fear and stress is just, it's like the, the coffee. And, and I would think once that energy's in the air, it's even just the skaters feeding off of their own fear. It's not even, it doesn't even have to be instilled from a higher power if that's just the general vibe of the kids. But they preferred that rank to the other, to CSKA, because they said at least a Terry weighs you in private. At the other rank, you get weighed in front of like Tarasova and everyone. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Happy cup of Russia, everyone. I just think these are the things you need to know, Jonathan. Okay. And they are, I mean, because again, we think back to such horror as we were talking about every time we watch like the late seventies and eighties when like they're announcing the weight. But of course, when we've had competitors on from that era and they're like, and then he was like, it's those two pounds from Thanksgiving, shame on you. And you're just like, I don't understand how you're not recounting this as abuse, but you're just recounting it as the regular news. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. There was something from Tuesday I was gonna tell you and I, it just like it went in the mind and it was just like, I walked- Right out the eye. <laughs> went away. Okay. We learned so much this week, you know. I bet, yeah. I'm doing a lot of the drills with the hockey stick. I tend to enjoy it, so. Okay, okay. It's very and I have to say the interesting thing about this week, Dave, was we got such an interesting smattering from all over. And they were little bits from everywhere, yeah. which was kind of interesting. I know. And it was, but for the, I, I like my routine. 
but this week it was such a strange week for everyone. It all worked out, yeah. okay? I feel like we're coming back to, well, we're not coming back to, you know, something is progressing forward and I, I don't know what that is. We're so desperate for a step forward. We'll take any chance at the hope for one, yeah. It was such a strange, strange week. So, so, so yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Dating included. <laughs> I have to tell you, so like on a week like this, where I think everyone in their own respective lives for a myriad of personal reasons and the universal ones and the national ones, um, I'm tired, I'm, the, the tank's on empty. And so it was also kind of tough when I'm trying, again, I am one of the most avid skating fans out there. Mm -hmm. And if I am having struggles and difficulties in trying to curate a playlist of skating that I'm trying to watch, it just is very frustrating as a fan. Just like, the, I'll give you the news. I know, but even like the news, yes, but like I also want the clips and this one's copyright this, this one has no sound because of that. This one's someone's phone from Japan and the sound is oppressive. Like this one is that, that one is this. I just, oof, wouldn't it just be great if it was like any other sport and you could just streamline it? Thank NBC, okay? Thank yeah, it, this for real. Network. Yeah, premium, Peacock premium. <laughs> that is just, ugh. Anyway, <sighs> Lord. Where to begin, Dave? Where to begin? Well, I have a theory, Jonathan. Okay. These women are divas. They are great. They are champions. Mm these angels of Plushenko, of Plushenko, they are coached by someone who awarded himself a platinum medal. I am gonna tell you something. Aljona Kasturnaya, I think that she should demand a recount and she should go on Twitter and she should say that she is the absolute champion of the fourth stage of the Cup of Russia. I do not know where those six extra points, schist of points came for Alexandra Trusova, but let me tell you, I think that she is the winner and that she should demand from now on, you, you could be second, you say, I am first. And I think- Because she got all the legal GOE. She got all the legal points, okay? <laughs> I do not know where that has happened, Jonathan, but she didn't have to hug her on the podium, no, okay? Amazing, okay. She's okay. <laughs> you should see her in a crown, baby. We all tuned in for her and she won. Okay. So here's, you know what it reminded me of? Again, I bring this up a lot. When you were talking to Elaine Sayak on the show about a one Rosalind Sumner. Yes. And she goes, well, she only won if I let her. Like if I made the error, she could win. But if I didn't make the error and I did my job, she didn't have a chance. <laughs> And I found that Kostranaya might have been a little bit okay in an Elaine Zayak kind of way. She had all of her feet, but I think she had like this Elaine Zayak vibe in the Kiss and Cry of like, well, yeah, I didn't do the Axel and I'm like just coming back. And, you yeah, know, I felt like skater. she knew she left it out there. There are some skaters who are a bit delusional and it works for them. Like yeah. they're not really good at anything, but they get it done. And then they wind up beating people who are legitimately talented and make them say. It's my favorite book where it's called Talent is Overrated. It's an incredible book about like, forget the natural talents and the God-given talents. Like you just do your job, you'll get there. Yes, but that is not Kostranaya. She <laughs> tell yeah, you exactly. the champion. Okay, Jonathan, how <laughs> dare. No. What? It, so, okay, I want to ask you. absolutely clean. I saw two <laughs> falls from the other skater. Two falls. <laughs> That's correct. It's funny how you can play this out and it means so much. <laughs> I wanted to ask you something. We talked a lot back when Ashley was competing about her inability to do certain spin positions because of her back. And I wanted to just get you to reiterate um, how you felt about that and if you thought something similar might be happening to Kostranaya. The spins were pretty rough when we saw the Russian test skate before and we saw the Bielman debacle this time. And just in general, that sort of movement seems hindered at the moment. Does that okay. indicate to you a back injury or something? When you read the Russian forums or no, she has had back 
injuries for a long time. Most skaters do. Anyone who's doing a Bielman position and doing a triple Lutz likely has to go to some sort of a physical therapist because of their back. It's not natural, right? To be able to do both. Yeah, okay. Especially within that short of a period of time, right? The irony, of course, being that Denise Bielman was the first woman to land a triple Lutz, but obviously very different circumstances. And she conditioned more than anyone, Jonathan. Okay. That's right. She was also a professional aerobics instructor, so it's all out the window. Okay. She told us that she was doing conditioning in the um, in the dressing room on tour every night. The other skaters were not. So, and I believe her. I do too. But Kostrnaya yeah. has had back problems. She had back problems before Worlds last year. Worlds right. were canceled, but she did. It was an, there was a show where she didn't look too good before yeah. Worlds last year. I know she's perfect. She's a queen. She never makes a mistake. <laughs> she, she's had injuries throughout her career. Okay. And yeah, she had some back stuff. And I believe that that kind of stuff was going on around the time that she split with Terry. I don't think that anyone leaves the coach when they're skating well. <laughs> and, and at the top of their game, including of all their rink mates, yeah. But when you're skating well, you are happy. You are the queen of the eyes. You're, you love everyone. When you're skating by this, when you're bitter, <laughs> you hate every yeah. coaches. Okay. And everything, even like I find with singing, I used to say like a good singing day made everything in the world right. Every right. single thing, you were going to be fine. You yeah. don't switch coaches because you're on the top of your game just because there's some 10 year old in the ice. Because I've seen those um, Instagram clips of the Angels of Lushenka, and there are some very young kids on the ice in right. her way. Also, Plushenka was showing off his new rink that they built. They didn't hang the banners yet. That's how you know it's the new one. Okay. And Yana posted like a three minute montage of people training, like testing out the ice surface. Now, Hot Sergey was off at the competition. Those kids were missing every other jumping pass. Did you see it? Am I the only one who saw this? Oh, I, I didn't say see this. Okay. You were missing in a three minute span. You just watched people like going down. Like they were missing, stepping out of job. Like I was like, holy, like, who? There is no technician on staff today. It was just yeah, a minute, exactly. okay? like, Must be the new ice. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same clip, the original video where the Jill and the sisters are doing like the show mm. together. Yeah. Okay? The, the, uh, that was crazy. I did see that clip, yeah. But it, wa it was on his Instagram story. It might not be archived, but it was three minutes of heaven, okay? Okay. <laughs> they, they looked rough, okay? They need the banners for inspiration. I mean, I may have it. I'll post it on Patreon. It's terrible. Okay. It's terrible, okay? Okay, <laughs> okay. They, were they weren't used to the new eyes, okay? It, it happens, okay? They Clearly. The owners in Clearly, Montana. yeah. We used to love the ice in Montclair. The new owners took over. We hated the ice in Montclair. It's not like it was before. Okay. They didn't change it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they melted the ice during COVID and then they rebuilt and it takes a while. So it was hard. And I don't think anyone liked the new okay. owners anyway. And everyone liked the old guy. So everyone's like, oh, the ice isn't the same. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> the ice is not the same at the Angels of Plushenka. Okay. That is. Okay. What was happening? Okay, it was. And once I'm telling you, once the banners are up, it'll, the ice will be better than ever. Ice will be better than ever. We will be landing everything, at least in those Instagram clips. Okay. Exactly. We're gonna you choose the right boy. three minutes. Yeah. You see our boy Leonid. He did the quad flip. Yeah. That was flip stunning. Arms. Yes, honey. That, uh, stunning, stunning. Right. So, I had a feeling it was gonna be a bad week. And let me tell you, because, you know, I get a lot, I'm sure you do as well, get a lot of messages from fans. Mm -hmm. Some more useful than others. Yeah. But there's one girl from Mexico who seems to be like, what's your favorite jump? Don't have time for that conversation, sorry. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> love you, love that you watch. Love that you love skating. Thanks. Watch the show and we'll talk about it. We'll talk. Depends on the day. Depends on what I'm not falling on. That is exactly. The <laughs> yeah, exactly. Today, not my flip. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, I like flip. Okay. 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 I, I realize she wants me to do the Oksana entrance. You ever see Oksana when she used to do the flip? She would like go on the inside edge forever. But she, I think she did a three turn. I do a mohawk, but it's Galena's evolved. Yeah. No, I, it's because I do everything from mohawk. 
Oh, okay. My old coach didn't like my three turn once when I was learning the flip. So I learned it from Mohawk. We just clicked, like we picked. And I was like, oh, I'll we'll just do it. Okay. That's my deal now. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I can do it from a three turn. Fred Boudet made me do it. I was like, okay. Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, moving along. Oh, also from Mexico, have to give a shout out to Anna, Anna Cantu Felix. Okay. There are these two sisters from Mexico. They're from like the Rebelde region of like, me like they have money, you don't even know, honey. Okay, oh. like the father's an avocado, they own an ice rink, like, I mean, honey, yes, all right? Okay. So she does interviews with Valentina Marquet. Oh. With Bradford, with Jeremy. So her name is Contu Felix with an extra E, with the E, I guess she has a lot of feelings, but she does Instagram live interviews and she did one with Valentina. I'll put the link in the description, the Valentina one. They talk about when they were training in Simsbury and mm -hmm. well, Valentina visited Galena to get her triples. So Galena told her that she shouldn't eat for a couple of days until she gets her triple Lutz because that will motivate her. She got her triple Lutz, Jonathan. She willed it out of her, you know. And she, I mean, she even used it as a Paris girl. <laughs> I'm just saying, I believe this story. It, you know, okay. the interviewer was there and didn't seem to think it was an exaggeration. It just seemed- Yeah. I, I, Crazy. This sport, this sport, this sport. Okay. <laughs> it was drink a glass of water, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying I could see it happen, okay? Okay. But, you know, when you know the players, yeah. But of the two sisters, apparently the one was telling me Galena only liked one of them. <laughs> she made it known. Well, that, come on. When we think of siblings who have skated. <laughs> but you think that you would like. I feel like Frank was nice to Karen Kwan, right? He let her do the triple sow. She had the prettier Lori choreography. She went skated to the mission. Like, I don't know. But inevitably, two different experiences. Apparently, like, Anna called Galena once and she was like, you know, I have to get the spot for the Olympics. And, you know, I didn't make it at Worlds. Is Michelle skating? <laughs> she... Just saying. I Just think saying. it happened. Just saying. Just... Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Okay. So Russia this week. I mean, this is just setting. So story. Russia this week. Yeah. I knew it was going to be bad when they have a news clip about Aljona Kosternaya's triple axel and they only show clips of her doing it in the past. No practice clips in this in the, in the, the present. I think day. it was clear. And I, I like clearly whatever's happening potentially with the back is seemingly still happening based on the spin. So this wasn't the moment. Take the second to Trusova in a, in a stage competition and save yourself. Of course, I get a million messages. She's going to try it in the free. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. No, she wouldn't. She would never have tried it in the free. Even by the way you look at the double, you, can, you had a feeling the triple wasn't coming. Well, we did see a practice clip where she did do the layback. I think it was in the long she did, like the Beelman and everything. But... I, or we have seen her practice it in the various clips they've posted, but they never post her doing like a full run through of the program. I, I have a couple of theories slash feelings. One is that I think we know she was behind. She didn't do yeah. the state of the test skates and she's been, she only got choreography, like. She made the move very late. Yeah, I think she's, I think everyone was behind after quarantine, I think she was, very behind. Yeah. Also, the people that know the different girls have an interesting way of like describing their personalities. Like Trusov is like a fighter to the death, like a Megan Duhamel if she was like in a cage match type deal, right? Like there's just like oh, real, amazing. that real <laughs> gritty energy to her, right? Correct, correct. You know, Sherbakova, who's like the satiko of, um, Russia, you know, she's mm -hmm. doesn't talk back, very polite, you know, aristocratic, you know, yeah, perfect student. 
And then you have like Aliana Kastanaya, who has a lot of opinions about everything. She like, wins. She's in her own world, chilling. Yeah. Like so many greats before her. She's like funny. Like she's apparently very funny, but yeah. you know, she had a Terry Ward a match. <laughs> they just, you know. Well, because maybe in some way they're too alike. No. I think that Vidiva and Terry are very mm. alike. Okay. Okay. I I think Astronaya is <laughs> she's a gem. Jonathan, we are so lucky to have. But I think Costa is, you know, advocating for herself, and I think well, that not many. Advocating do so. is an interesting term. I mean, <laughs> you have such a high end way of being like. Did you see her throw the jacket again to the short program warm up? They didn't. No, she threw the jacket again, and like Todd Ferry just had to grab it. Okay, that girl knows her worth. Okay, yeah, I just say. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the very moment that Gracie threw that jacket at Frank Carroll, she was not on a high, okay? She was right. not reigning European champion. She wasn't going to do very well. Right. Frank was like, Let it fall, yeah. Custer Naya has the power, okay? Right. You will catch that jacket. She is making hot circuit. He is her jacket servant, okay? Yeah. He should flop it, okay? <laughs> Hold it, iron it, I mean, Right, I get it from the cleaners. I spray it with <laughs> fragrance. <Yeah. laughs> he is lucky to even be having the opportunity to grab that jacket. Okay. Exactly. Who is he? Yeah, exactly. Did he dye his hair darker? Like, did he see it? One did, it did appear darker. Yeah. And it's such a severe, it's like a bluish black. I once dyed, I used to dye my hair dark when I was- Why? Completely out. I don't know, Jonathan, I wanted dark hair. I always said, wouldn't I look good with dark hair? Because you do have dark hair. So is yours just a dark, dark brown and you wanted it black? I wanted it black. I had to do it for, when I was in Greece, they were like, they wanted us all to dye our hair and make it like very longer and severe, right? So I did it and it looked like jet, you know, it was out of the box, okay? And I left it on like too long and it was like- <laughs> First time I did it, it had some like raspberry natural highlights to it and it looked great. Then I did it again and I was like, ooh, no, it was like jet black, like ink from a printer. Okay, it looked terrible, all right? I was feeling that my hot Sergey like maybe saw one gray hair. Why was it looking so severe? And what yeah. are those robots and those men dressed as robots? Hold on. Okay, hold up, because then also like after the truce of a um, triple axel attempt in the short program, th there's like the, they're like clapping in an animatronic way. And then during the Sleeping Beauty, or no, the, excuse me, the Romeo and Juliet, the robots were encouraging the crowd to clap. And I was like, this is not music you clap to. <laughs> this isn't that kind of scenario. And then I realized it's the robots that were trying to encourage it. They look like space age versions of the guards and the sound of music during the singing competition. You know, again. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you see did you see Kimmy Schmidt? Was that a show you watched? No. Okay. That's I got into that. But they have like this like bot that's very similar looking. So yeah, I don't I didn't know what that was. Kimmy Schmidt? Oh, see now that's oh, my brain. The Russian. The, the oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know what Kimmy Schmidt is. Okay. Well, they have one of them. She wrote it. It was on Netflix. They were underground exactly. for a long time. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Okay. So, anyway. The Costa and I are short. All right. My girl comes out. I just think that she's very behind. Yeah. And I, I do think that because she knows she has the power with Blue Shrinka, and with hot Sergey, I think that the balance of power is a little bit shifted. <sighs> because she hasn't been in like real competition against these other girls that she probably doesn't like, getting scores. You know, you can let yourself relax just a smidge. You know, there's a difference between overtraining, which she may have had to do before, which caused some of the injuries, right? Correct. Training 100% and letting yourself just slack just that little bit. And I just felt like when she went into 
the spin error. That upset me so much more than the yes. conversation because that looked like she was a little bit nervous and hadn't done full run throughs of the program in a way to establish complete confidence. That looked, just looked like a really nervous error. And perhaps her back is bothering her and leading her not to practice as much, but it looked like a lack of preparation there. Yeah. Well, this really came through almost for both of the girls in the long. It just seemed mm -hmm. just not totally at, at peak performance time yet. I don't think anyone is in their top condition in the sport. Maybe How a couple. Could they? It would be weird if I think if you were. But I do think that the quarantine and being off the ice and the rhythm, and I think everyone is not in their best shape in some way, some um, different reasons for different people. Although some people look great and yeah. you know, they're back to, but I would say these girls are all at like a very sensitive time in their lives and they all are adjusting, so. Well, and I thought because, um, you know, we've talked on the show several times about the difference between it's old school Russian training style versus Western training style, which was, of course, in North America, it was like, do the program a million times, blah, blah, blah. And we knew that you were talking about how Russians would work sections and not necessarily condition the whole program always. So that kind of changed with a Terry, right? Because everyone seemed like they could do 25 of that program, each with an extra triple loop at the end of every combo. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly this came and you sort of saw both Trusova and Kostanaya run out of gas at the end of the long. And it was so unusual because I thought this must feel unusual for them too. Now, I don't know if that's Pluzhenko trying to do it a little bit differently, train them a little less intensively, or maybe because the season is so peculiar, they're not doing that as much, but it was a different thing to see and feel like, oh, they ran out of gas when that was of course, almost the one thing you could rely on was that none of those girls would have ever run out of gas. So he's really the manager figure, like at Tarasova, right? Like, right. and think about all of the high level experience he's gaining when he's had none, right? So we're gonna see a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And because he is a very brash and arrogant person, there's gonna be a lot of times when Terry is gonna be laughing at him and this is to be expected, right? But I think that he is taking big risks. And I think that, I think Kostranaya can get the triple axel back. I think she has to, I think she's behind. I don't think that she's behind forever, right? I right. think that she, I think she can at least restore the level that she was at last season for the Olympics. Probably won't go beyond that, right? Like she has said that before, the way it looks, and thinking like how competitive she can be. I think that she can have, she has really special programs and is in really top condition and doing her triple axles in combination. I think she's got a good shot of fighting for medal at the Olympics. Oh, you're saying if she, you're not talking about these programs. You're saying if she has good programs. I love, I actually really, the short is really growing on me. Although I think okay. her posture is getting very sloppy. I it doesn't, yeah, it's not calling to me. The music is obviously, uh, an uphill battle for me just because I don't think it in addition to not being my aesthetic it's also um doesn't necessarily fit her so organically I kind of love it okay fine. but it's more forward physicality than open physicality which it I is. loved from her in the past yeah but the, the beginning is kind of cool she has these like little she kind of skates around and is like doing these little things and she can't make her arms look bad in those opening moves, even if I don't care for the music or the, the idea. Every arm movement is gorgeous, yeah. I actually really love the step sequence and think it's brilliant. I just think that because she's not in her top condition, everything is like a little bit forward and sloppy, right? And I think some of that is her back. And I think as she heals the back, and gets, you know, does her off ice training and is in a thousand, a hundred percent, which will come after being off the ice for so many months and then having, being behind. She has so much attitude. She does a bracket when she's like in the, you could see me in the crowd. And like, you can just see that like, she is envisioning this, like, I don't know if it's a um, Burger King crown on top of her head, but like, honey, like, 
she has some attitude and thinks that she is the best and I applaud it, okay? Okay. At least it's interesting. I didn't like it at first, but now I'm like, this girl, it's like, <laughs> she has a lot One of- One of the personalities we've missed from the sport. Yes, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. She's got 90s hugged. identity. <laughs> she only hugged Truza because she had to, honey. Okay, that was, <laughs> that Maya K ruined it for everyone, all right? Right, that, yes. And look, Trusova never made eye contact with her until she was the winner. So they are both the same in that respect, okay? They want to win and I applaud those girls, okay? Exactly, exactly. Then Trusova was like, oh, so fine with her, okay? Like, love it. <laughs> yeah, showing how easygoing she was, yeah. I get that vibe from both of them, right? Okay, and, okay. Um, but yes, I, I love the attitude. I actually think that the long which you think would be more her style, I think it's a complete snooze. It's okay. a bit, it's a bit like um, monochromatic in a way, yeah. I know you love Shaylin. And I do- Oh, well, well not, sometimes person. more than others, yeah. You're a Shaylin supporter, as you have been. Especially in pairs, especially in pairs. Medvita was all agree. Nathan's free skate, Kosternayas. There are others this season that I am, oh, Mariah Bell's ABBA program. Yeah. Not her season over the Zoom, not her yeah. season. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She's saving her best work for the Olympic year uh, because these all need to go by the wayside. Yeah, the, these were all a bit of a, and maybe I don't envy the job I, I think is trickiest right now would be to choreograph over Zoom. And she needs a music editor. I don't know if Hugo is doing these, but the edits don't sound as well done as usual. It really yeah. seems like we are just throwing pieces in here. They are, I don't know. I, the edits seem abrupt. Maybe this is a new style where we're just changing the track on the CD player mid mid spin. Yeah, exactly. Or a couple of times this this weekend we heard like just a fade and then something completely new just fade in. And I was like, that's not. I don't know that that's the art of mixing. But okay, I'm hoping that these people aren't paying a lot of money for these edits because these are not the level of expertise that we usually or that they deserve. Costa Naya deserves. Come on. I'm not offended that she's skating to Medvedeva's music, like not like that program with some work of art, but. Um, but really when that me memorable lick comes back in the middle, you're like, oh, right, this thing. Yeah. It's just painting by number. It's like they needed a free skate to throw together. They were really far behind. There. It was like, a, it's like a placeholder kind of program. It's garbage. They should go back to, I don't know. Is there like ownership rights to programs in Russia with coaches with who Corey Because like, can she use the Danny G programs? Because go back to last year. <laughs> can yeah. she? Um, it's not good. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. Uh, Although interestingly, it would be an improvement. <laughs> okay, that's uh, anything a bit more lyrical for her. More in Honda version of Romeo and Juliet would be much more suitable for her. It's just not great, and without a triple axle or two, it, it's a and with some tough moments with those landings on the combos and things like that. You I just knew she wasn't in the pocket. You know, her I like think, I don't think the music is great. I don't think the choreography does anything. I mean, she does some nice twizzles. Well, she's it, a beautiful skater, so it's even more perplexing then. I think the short is so much better. Even if it's newer, I would just scrap it. Honestly, scrap yeah. it, redo it, blame it on the program, honey. Get that yeah. triple axle back and... Yeah. Because it... I don't believe we will ever see her have a really consistent quad cell. Would love to see it. I don't predict it. But I would love it to happen, but based on her injuries and age and the other girls doing, you know, quads so much more consistently. 
I think uphill battle for a consistent quad sell. Would love to be wrong. Yeah. Would love to be wrong, but it's yeah. not what I'm predicting, right? She's going to need really special programs and that free skate is just not cutting it. Also, yeah. girls, the unicamel spin when you have an ugly leg position and no stretch and a really boxy a day a boot. Not aesthetically pleasing for mom and dad. You know, it just wasn't doing it for me. Okay, it was not, both girls, both angels did it. Both yeah. of them. <laughs> it wasn't my, my cup of tea, but yeah. yeah. Um, now I'm you- intrigued to get your take on the Trusova Axel attempt. I thought it looked pretty darn, like I'll take it. When she tried it last season, Mm-hmm. And I, I think it was Grand Prix finals. She was trying to throw that out there. And I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. But now I was like, okay, I, again, I really see this, this coming. I see it coming. The curve that she is on to my eye looks narrow for her. I couldn't tell. Oh yeah, so it's not so much, but I didn't know it was also an unusual camera angle. I almost never see an axle. So there's approach. a video of her in the warm up. Okay. I'll post it. But they the Russians were so next level. They had a split screen where you could watch each girl for all 6 minutes of the warm up. Now, wow, that's acting, brilliant. Getting Dave. Okay. Because I actually think that the box of the coaches gets distracting. Like, it's fun. And it's farcical. I think that someone who doesn't know the sport being like, you know what we should do. And then goes away when the jumps are done, which tells you we don't care about anything now that the jumps are done. I don't, yeah, I don't like it. It's too strict because you're watching the box and the points and this and the skating and it's a lot. And I feel like the coaches, no matter what they may tell you, they're very aware of it. And some of them are definitely giving a performance. Oh, of course. Like, so who's the hot Sergei for um, Trusova? I don't know. If, I forget his name. It's, it's He was full of I'm going to look at The fans are already writing in his name, so I'm going to have to look it up and be like, Thank Yeah, except already. He They're was, already, they've already commented, okay? Well, <laughs> can't help themselves, Thank you. okay? You, you've we'll never, never forget it again. But um, here's the thing. Not he, important to me, okay? He, he, but he was distracting because- Ushenka- like to me is her coach, I just. Um, but he was the one doing all of the like, oh, I'm so offended she made a mistake. Like, oh, I'm gonna breathe heavily and roll my eyes and pace Dimitri around. Dmitry Mikhailov. Dmitry okay. Mikhailov is her coach. Okay, Dima. total ridiculous. Like calm it, you're distracting and it's unprofessional. What I notice is that she drops her left side a little bit behind her before she goes forward in the act. It's just a little strange. Um, yeah, but the height is like, this new she will screen. get it. Yeah, the, the entrance just still looks a little bit suspect. Yeah, but, but in it, general, like the quad sow in the long, I was like, though that was a downright leggy takeoff. Like I, I feel like because we talked about it when she first burst on the senior scene. Of course, we had covered her all the time when she was a junior, but like. I remember having the conversation with you, these historical quad things are happening. Why do we not really find it that exciting? And it's because she wasn't jumping with the height and the trajectory she is with these. Even if they're falling, some of them, the, the, the quad just matters more. So now. she's taking the risks that I think will pay off next season. This season, I think will continue to be like this, but I think she's gonna get it. Right, especially in the quad jumps. I think she can do four clean quads at the Olympics. Yeah, because it's exactly like you say, she's taking the time and not worried if she does this at the moment because she's actually making the huge shift. Well, maybe she's worried, but maybe the coaches aren't, you know? Okay, okay, okay. (laughs) She wants to win all the time, Jonathan, okay? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And so far she is. But um, it it is interesting to see it actually change. I do know, do you notice that like her quad sow best she's ever looked. Then she does the quad lutz after. And for the first time, it looked really good. Usually that's the one on Instagram where the rotation always looks. This looks so much more real. Yeah. Yeah. And then the quad toe, it was interesting. She just made a mistake because 
the second one was great. Um, and late. That second one was so late in the program. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, because the quad toe had been looking so good. And when they did the slow-mo, her leg just like got away from her or something on the I takeoff. Notice that, so she's been working on her glide and it has made improvements from last year. A lot of it is perception. We know she's working on it. We know she's working with ice dancers. There's a lot of her body that's like still like flailing. Like it's, she does not have coordination when it comes to skating skills. As much as she does for jumping, mm. her coordination on skating skills is not there. It's getting marginally better, but it is rough. And it just looks like she forgot about the performance that she was working on with Ilanique. It just, it. You can't do it all at once though. So I, I don't know, I, for some reason, I'm deciding to cut her slack because I feel like there's real work being done. And I, I love her personality, fall. right? Like yeah. I like that she's a fighter. They're actually trying. And with the Terry, they didn't seem to be trying at all. And, and had, improving the part that she had, you know what I mean? Like, I so don't know, I respect I think she's that. giving it the most. Like as she goes to next year, I just think it's a work in progress. She's never going to be the most beautiful skate. I mean, when she does the spiral, like it's just like a leg kick. She has no idea like what a spiral sequence means. Like this is just not. And in some ways though, I feel like a lot of these Russian girls are now chasing to be as good as they were, but yet she's going to be much better than she ever was. So it's a different trajectory in a way. No, riddle me this. Maya, Amber Corwin Hromich, okay? Oh, I was gonna say Paulina Edmonds. May have retired in the US, but she lives on in Russia through you Maya. Get Paulina vibes from her. Yes, and Maria Sotskova vibes. I don't get the confidence of Paulina. Mm. But I do get the pre-rotation of Queen Amber Corwin <laughs> to make I'm, those jumps happen. I'm mainly talking about like the 35 foot long arms and okay. legs. Like this is, this is like that baby giraffe that's like first learning to walk like see i get that she's backing a car out of the garage when she's doing these jumps and she's like making yeah. personal yeah i bet she's a very good driver okay very safe okay <laughs> she is not getting in any accidents in the parking lot okay unless she tries to drive a quadruple so because unfortunately i'm sorry to say we're we're talking about like of course, Costa and I is going to get that triple axle back, it seems. And like, we see where the truths of the things are possible. I, I'm sorry, I just don't understand how she's not going to break her ankle for good at one point, trying this quad sal that seems so beyond. Think about how much more attention she's getting because these two aces left, and then you've got Mavita who's injured and not training every day. She's probably getting more attention than ever has before in her life. It's not helping, unfortunately. Well, it didn't help the hydroblade, but yeah. it was a more respectable effort than a Mishan girl who doesn't know how to jump, who has some sort of symbols on her forehead that are supposed to be an alien or so, I don't. We don't know. Don't know, and more importantly, we don't care. M maybe, yeah. I mean, Maya, she, she has an interesting look, but I just, it, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't land for me. Well, no. I mean, she seems like a nice girl. Yeah, because even after that quad cell, which again seems far from, I don't believe she's, I shouldn't say that, I don't know. It's, it seems not so plausible that she's hitting it consistently in practice, is how I'll say that. And then the next jump for her to, I swear, it looks like she's gonna break her foot. Well, we did get to see the portrait of an artist this weekend. Madam Esmeralda, would you say? <laughs> Jonathan, for too long, Daniil Gleikenhaus has been constrained mm. by the requirements of the international judging system. Yeah, his artistry transcends those limitations, don't well, they? Now we finally saw what he could do if he had just a pure canvas to paint his strawberries on ice. <laughs> and he gave us Alina Sagitova in two exhibitions. And to me, they, they looked like exhibition performances, but Daniil said, no, Sagitova has been doing less studying, 
which concerned me because I read about her scores on the entrance exams. <laughs> but they said she's doing less studying and more training. And I thought, oh, you know, the comeback, it's possible, but only if she restores everything. There was a lot of gaslighting and caveats going on in that statement. And it was open to Russian interpretation. It was very theatrical, his interview. Yeah. Um, that performance. You know, I didn't see a Terry in the audience to witness that. Um, What's interesting, Dave, is I didn't see that many people in the audience. In general, it was sort of like, I the lights were just blocked. blocked him out. Okay. Yeah, exactly. There's a pandemic, Jonathan. <laughs> the Russians don't know how. They, they've gotten better. They're at least wearing masks. One day the nose is important, you yeah. know. It also receives air. <laughs> Do you notice that like the masks will be up here and then not there and then like, and then like even Mishin who's supposed to be so smart, it's like here. And then you're like, well, he's smart for skating. Okay, I mean. I <laughs> Amazing. God divides. <laughs> There's a coach at the rink. One of them, I'm not. There's a coach at an ice rink somewhere on planet Earth, who may have been upset about the election results. Oh. And they may have tweeted about, or messaged about how it's rigged and they're gonna leave the US and go to Hawaii. Now, <laughs> it might have been a joke. Might not have been. <laughs> the coaching staff allegedly is split on whether or not it was a joke and if you have to ask because that person was supporting President Trump and they're not sure <laughs> if he was kidding or not <laughs> I, neat <laughs> I could see it going either way. Yeah, it's a thing. But you don't make the joke when people aren't sure if you're kidding. Yeah, it's too bold to not be clear. Although there are some people that are very sarcastic, right? So like, La, who's been on the show, not in the, of course. the Patreon judging, but she's right. real dry and like. Yeah, and you know that's what you're getting. You know to read any tweet she would have ever sent with like, that in mind. I sent the video to of Roman Sadovsky's new program where he talks about, or what, what is the title of it? Emo ballad yet again. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the most Grey's Anatomy music and a cover of it, but it was Roman Sadovsky's free program <laughs> revealed. To which Laura Shy replies, oh, good, I've been on edge waiting for the reveal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and so which is goes, something other fans would write earnestly, but obviously we know her, you know, her context, yeah. It, it comes naturally to her family, right? So I don't know if everyone knows this, but La's brother is like a pretty um, substantial political re reporter. Hmm. But he also tweets, his name is David Friedlander. And he writes for Politico uh, Magazine, for New York Magazine. He wrote about Bill de Blasio in New York Magazine about how he lost New York and has the cover of all the graffiti on his face. La's brother has that same kind. La's brother gave a wedding toast where he talked about her finishing last in every skating competition. Because, you know, he thought that that would mean that she is going to be a happy person in life. But, you know, he just thought that, like, that was the appropriate thing to like say at her wedding, right? Like, <laughs> And to be clear, it was not. <laughs> you know, she, she thought it was funny. But okay. she was like, well, you know, I, I would not have. eye contact with me, right? But... <laughs> He had some line about, oh man, he tweets too much. He basically had some line of, well, can we just settle the election already so we can admit that COVID was one, <laughs> was one big hoax? Being completely sarcastic, right? Of course, yeah. But like, not everyone got it. 
who was like um, reminding him, of course, right? And and the joke isn't funny if you have to explain it to someone, but I mean. But you would think people following him, for instance, people that follow the skating lesson on Twitter, hear your voice. They yeah. know they know how it, to read it. I know, but I have to soften it with people. You know, they just don't yeah. get it. The new once it once it gets in new hands, yeah. There was a new person asking a very obvious question, and then there are the old gays with the drag humor who never get any of the jokes, but they're always the loudest. Okay. <laughs> know exactly who they are. Okay. I okay. Can do the list. okay. 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 <laughs> anyway, it's it's one. Okay. Um, yes, but so that the, was Russia. Uh, yeah. So that was Russia. I mean. Meanwhile, in Japan. It's, 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 in, Japan. <laughs> in Japan. My, not only does my calf hurt this week and my ankle and my eye, I have sympathy pains for that fall that Yuma Kageyama talk, uh, took on a back crossover. Which one? Oh yeah, okay. The one that came out of no, it was the second fall in the program out of nowhere. Those are the falls that hurt the most because they're unexpected. Right. And you don't like prepare your body. And I do think it led to like further falls. And then the poor thing was so embarrassed and in pain. And, but I have to say, I love will, his skating, by the way. One day he will look back and laugh at that entire performance. He will laugh about the ball, about the, the back cross, because like. Because my takeaway was still positive. Isn't that anyway? Was still like he is the most talented thing to come out of Japan yeah. since Shoma Uno and Hanyu. Okay. Like, yeah, it's true. The, and it's funny you mentioned Shoma because some of the opening moves, I think it was in the free, it was even a little two footed and not so complex. But the just knee bend, skating sure. skills and the knee bend and the speed he was producing. I thought this is when I gush about Japanese skating skills. This is what I think of the like, soft knee. Yeah. The great hair, the, yeah. oh my, the wind in the hair. I mean, yeah. And, and that just to join him. him. I know his dad coaches him. Maybe he could have a part-time residency with Lombiel, mm -hmm. but he needs some of that Lombiel flair to him. You know, because yeah, it's right there. It's, it's so special to watch. The skating skills are so great. And it was, it was the first time in a long time I've seen someone make that many errors. And was like, well, whatever. I still enjoy maybe, it. Maybe after Shoma retires. Yeah. I also would like my boy Kazuki to go there so they can join that group, Shampari, right? The... But. And I far prefer Yuma's overall skating mm -hmm. to. Shun. Do you say Shun or Shion? I, I, each time I see it transliterated, it becomes a little different. Mr. Sato will say. <laughs> um, uh, not Nabui. <laughs> stiff Mr. Sato. It was, it was a tough and the music was a little bit grating and unending loud screaming like heavy and even though the jumps were more successful than Yuma's my real takeaway here was how wonderful Yuma was. Yeah. Even with the mistakes it was yeah tough. for real and they and they were pretty substantial those mistakes but you know. But his quad triple was like Landing on a cloud. It really was. Oh, no. It really was. And actually going back to Roman's program for a second, which was, you know, beautifully obvious, but beautiful. Um, also very- the Canadians will love it. Canadian, you all, you, I, look, I include, you were from Chicago. I include you as part of Canada. You loved that Hyper and Paul program. That was at I did. Schmaltz, okay. Yeah, I did. This, the music is the same kind of obvious schmaltz to me. You know, I already know my friend Tara on the Hayden, or from uh, Nexus, she be like, how dare you say I'm from Hayden? You know, she's crying, you know, she, watches, yeah. she likes to watch skating and weep. It's her, like therapy. Yeah. I was like weeping at his beautiful, like free leg in full extension, like he edited together the seven jumping Opens, of his life. Like it, it was, was open, but it was still complex. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So there, there was great merit to it. I just wish the music did a little bit more. I would like a better piece of music, but it was beautiful. And it was yeah. free and yeah. I liked it very much. And I appreciated his effort in presenting it that way. He doesn't have a Skate Canada. So I was like, snaps to him. Always more worried about the short program with him. That was his Achilles heel last year, but the free, yeah. stunning, uh, yeah. stunning. 
Um, now talk to me about now back to Japan. Uh, talk to me about Wakaba's triple axel in your opinion. She's giving me Midori Ito vibes on such I a know. level. She always has. Um, I think that the Sia piece of music mm -hmm. is so much better for her, even though I like her being a flamenca dancer. Like I, I, I love it. But I think that the, when you do a flamenca piece for a free skate, I think the reason why flamenca works better for a shorter piece of music is that eventually you need melody in there. Right. And Lambiel can get away with doing a whole flamenca program because like his feet are just like, they're doing like, it, yeah. Like her Browning would be jealous, right? Walk up and you know, he wouldn't be, but he would have different type of great skater. jumps yeah. and her good edges and everything like that. I think she, I'm always waiting for the Adele moment in any of her free skates. Skyfall. You know, I would look at Michelle's Romanza Fiesta Flamenca piece where they edited that. Like even that had like beautiful, sweet, the Romanza Flamesta, I don't know what I just said, but um, whatever, you know, that piece in 96 was edited together in such a way that it had heart and soul to the performance. It's missing a little bit of that sweeping motion to really get the program and get the crowd. And a lot of these skaters, feel like they're training for nothing, right? Like they just have that vibe that they're not getting up without the right. crowd and responding to them and it's hard. And this piece, the free is just missing that extra little, Oof. like the chocolatey goodness that you want, that like hug feeling, right? Yeah, the, yeah. The test of virtue Barbie of it all. It makes you wanna like <laughs> put it under your pillow at night. And, when Wakaba skates to Adele, she does that to us. And I wasn't feeling it from her. But she, no. the dress is gorgeous. The axle and the warm up was gorgeous. I think she's going to get it. Yeah, I think so too. I think she's doing exactly what she's supposed to be doing right now. Yeah. So, which sadly, I don't know what's happening then with our dear friend and um, oh, unending source of heartache, Marin Han. But does she love a Wally jump or what? Um, <laughs> this new rhythm she has before her triple. She looks like Flopsy Mops. Like, is she not doing her core exercises? Why? What's happened to her? You know, Jonathan, God divides. When you're just that charismatic and you have given gifts and... I just don't think she's had to work hard at any point in her life. And then she had so much talent and... I don't know, maybe that coach just dimmed her love for skating because it's so sad. She's- Yeah, because it's still there. It's her inherent ease uh, of movement is is always- um, Loveliness is there. Yeah, it, it just draws you in every time. But the jumps were barely leaving the ground also. Like- No, we can't want the triple flip more than she wants it herself. We can't. <laughs> What to do? <laughs> I don't know. No. no. She's happy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you'll get that Sandra. joke if you're, a, if you're a Patreon yeah. judging member, you'll know exactly what that means. That was a real commentary about someone's response at an Olympic skate. <laughs> um, uh, well, I, she's happy. She's happy. Um, Marin, you know, Didn't she once say that she wanted to grow up and be a flight attendant? I mean, couldn't you see her just at a Pan Am girl? I just hope she either finds her motivation or allows herself to, to try something else. To be a beautiful show skater, maybe in a television program. She could have a variety. It would be perfect. It would be perfect. Yes. But I don't know. I know. I do think that if US, since US nationals, are scheduled to be in Nevada. Now they found the reddest state possible that will still hold the event until it has to go virtual. Um, should they take place? I feel that given her Twitter or her Instagram work lately, I would like Champion Kamura, the Olympiska Oksana Bayul to be the host. I see her with a microphone. Of US nationals? <laughs> you know, she is the princessa of Vegas to me. 
I think she loves this sport and good technique. I just think she should host it, given her effort to restore the term, because I don't think, I wrote it down in my notes last week, but you know, Oksana took a, a week break from Instagram because she was very upset recently. About? You know that the Canadians have become politically correct about these terminology for terms on the ice, right? Oh, about, was that the replacement of the term Choctaw? Choctaw and Mohawk. Now, I, I thought it was an homage to the beautiful, you know, how Native Americans are beautiful ice skaters. You know how that, they've always, I mean. We all remember that one I get answer. It. I get it. I don't know why they like, but you know, Canadians being Canadians, they, they're gonna confuse because I'm always gonna see Choctaw letter C. I'm gonna think that a C step is a Choctaw, but a, a C step in Canada is now a Mohawk. And you know, uh, and a, a Choctaw is now an S step. And, and you know, the Russians are never going to accept this, but apparently Tracy Wilson, like the next day was like, oh yes, your C-step, you know. Studied, yeah, right? as she would, as, as she would. would. As she yeah. would, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know those Canadians that, right. I got many texts from Canadians being like, what, what's happening in your politics? What, what's happened? I, I don't understand. They were, the Canadians were the most confused of anyone this week, okay? They well, they, <laughs> I saw some funny memes where um, all our Canadian friends were, it was like, um, like how you have an emotional, uh, emotional support Canadians were available. <laughs> yeah. That's why Roman does those programs. You know how Canadians are, Jonathan. He revealed that for us. Yeah. They love Coldplay. They love it, okay? If the Shibutanis were Canadian, they would be the most popular thing since Tessa and since Donnie and Marie, okay? Exactly, exactly. Special, okay? It's true, it's true. They would have gone nuts for the Shibutanis. Oh my God, that schmaltz all the time, they would have loved them. But because yeah. they were American and not Canadian, they don't get it, okay? Well, and, and, and neither like do Like my friend God. Jeff Ruhr, because Canada doesn't have any top skaters, he's not really paying attention to skating right now. Oh. Well, maybe Roman's reveal will change his mind. I hope, oh, he did. And Keegan just meddled at Skate America. He did text me about Roman's reveal. Beautiful program, beautiful. I was like, <laughs> yes, that schmaltzy music, yes. But it was Yeah, beautiful. but he's a beautiful skater, yes, he is. But you know, me being half Russian, you know, I missed the Schindler's List with the Bells of Moscow, like put together. That's exactly, exactly. Okay. But okay, you know who was pulling a little bit of um, Canadian music in China was our old friend Han Yang. Yes, but I love him so much. I love him I, so uh, much. No, the minute he took the ice, Dave, like my whole body was like, oh my God, it's so good. It's so <laughs> good. I finally. Fine. Like there's something so effortless and cool about it. Now, like obviously we talked it about has how enough were... thigh to him that it really sinks into the ice. I think so too. It feels like more grounded in a way. And here's the thing. Now we both went nuts for Jason's material um, yes. this year, but there's something he has like a beautiful skating style similar to that, I think, but there's something just effortlessly or like eff it's an effortful Effort. way to say, for me to say it, yeah. Effortlessly cool kind of approach when he just puts his hands in his pockets and la la land and keeps them there. His shoulders are in just the right place. There's an easy swag to him. And I'm sorry, one of the best triple axles out there right now. Top five. Like, I just do a quad incredible. toe so badly so we can change I know. Them. I know. And I would. If we were patron, like, Oh yeah, if we were judging on Patreon, I would be like, like when John Seals was going like this for Vanessa Gusmaroli, like, and I was like, I that's not where I would give that, but okay. <laughs> I think was pulling rank. He was like, "How dare you judge outrageously in a Patreon?" Exactly. That is my thing. Get out. <laughs> and you do it for Victoria Volchkova, okay? I do. I always am rooting for her, even though I know she never delivers. But okay. <laughs> We were watching these girls, you know. Mm -hmm. But Han Yan, oh my gosh. Now the, the free to La La Land, lovely, but that short program is just dynamite. 
way behind Boyan Jin, unfortunately, just inevitable. Although I will say, you know, Boyan Jin used to just fall in that category for me of like, oh, yikes, this is the problem with IJS and quads. <laughs> but he, the quad Lutz is, is really impressive. It's not just like he's squeaking them out. Like the height on that thing really is remarkable. Right, and he's trying to perform this season and I wish he wouldn't because it's like overemphasized at the wrong point. Yeah. <laughs> that free skate step. Anyway, and the ending to the short, you know, he's trying, Jonathan. He is trying and it is not natural to He's him. trying almost too hard. I agree with you. I don't want to see that kind of effort so clearly. I know. But he's, you know, maybe Lori has him tone it down and she couldn't get there because of COVID and it. Yeah. I don't know. But Han Yan, he's like, He's like our lover that came back. It's like you have a Don Juan in a soap opera who leaves for four seasons and it's like Brad Carlton comes back hotter than ever. And you're just like, oh my God, I love the young and the restless. I don't know where he is back. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. And uh, left, and left um, kind of dark maybe. Maybe didn't leave feeling so great about the sport and maybe he was pressured to come back. Inside, honey, all the light, no. all the love and light for me. Um, no. That skating, that, oh. Sensational. And his coach always looks like a very nice woman, very refined Chinese mother hen figure and very put together. I feel like she's a very beautiful mansion. So yeah. I don't know where they're from. They're from Beijing probably. But yeah. she looks very classy and like pearls. Like I feel like she's from the Connecticut of China, wherever she is from. She's <laughs> giving me these vibes. Okay. 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 <laughs> just, does anyone else get the and I there's a Greenwich to... somewhere in one of the provinces I've heard you're that, saying like, okay. Sado, or however you pronounce it, the makeup company is doing Cup of China. I used hmm. to eat the Cup of China. Remember, they used to have the Lexus sponsorship with the random car, and it was uh, it was not working because it was Audi, wasn't it? I think it was Audi, an Audi yeah. sponsorship. Whoever it was, it was awkward. <laughs> okay. And it okay. was oh, he's doing it because it was parked like on the ice practically. <laughs> Surprised they didn't have to sit in the back seat for their scores. <laughs> it is so festive. Because it's the perfect shade of red, it is like Chinese New Year in October or November. Like it is early every yeah. season. And it's just like those red envelopes full of money and chocolate and cash. Like I am like, and then you get Han Yan and you're like, yes. And then you get yeah. Hong and Jin. And this Lori program is worth all, is it 10,000, 16,000? I don't know, Jonathan? I'm devastated, Dave. So this was one that I literally could not get unblocked anywhere. It's classy. Oh. It has transitions. Oh. It was as if Lori was doing an exhibition program. Like Danny G had the opportunity to. Lori gave it to you with Pong and shit, okay? And she does really well by them. She gets their... Oh, their dynamic, just right, I find, in general. She made them. They yeah. didn't have that before her. Bingo, bingo. Daughter, he was from the team of light blue. I see, like, they just... swap a -roo. He swapped ice on that, like, partners on that exhibition back in the day. I am just... This program. Oh, my God. And was that a Lisa McKinnon original that she was wearing? I don't know. It was very classy. I don't know. I don't know and anyone sees it. Is this something that I'm allowed to go see on You can go on watch NBC? on the Peacock Network. You can go. Oh, see, I even have the freaking premium. But it's so, like, I forget it's even a thing. Because everything is so, like, not happening on a one source. I don't The whole thing seems. Did you see that Alyssa Liu exhibition? No. For what? What was I, I, She was coming up in a couple. Tessa, tell me. What was the exhibition for? Skate America. Oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't have. Was it one of her programs or was it an exhibition exclusive? Unsure. Well, if you don't know, that's no, not a good sign. Like it's like a version of that short, but- Oh. Was, um... Not strong. 
All, all the eyes, <laughs> all the eyes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I get it now. You're doing more performing than made of might have happened. You're doing more expressing that might have happened. Is that what you're saying? And Tara was just talking about that special because remember Alyssa looked up to Tara, so Tara loves her. Mm. Oh, every time Alyssa takes the ice, the star quality and the jumps. And, and we're not gonna see the triple axle today because it's an exhibition. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, for sure. I think it's an exhibition year. Exhibition season. At some point, they're gonna have to wonder if that narrative is still the one they're gonna push. You know, remember when I suggested that the Kinnearum should run down the aisle now for a good fluff piece? Yeah. You can need to concoct one for nationals. Maybe it'll be canceled. It'll be canceled. Yeah, I mean, it, in some remember ways- Remember when Johnson's rink got flooded? They can't even claim that because Alyssa was training in Delaware all of quarantine. She, her dad had the key to the ice rink. No one else was there. But did it help? I don't, this is a tough one. And this is a tough one if you're like, let's say if you're in the NBC offices somewhere that do this sort of stuff. And why, why do they blame? People are mean to Jeremy Abbott. I think he's a nice boy. And he's attached to the two messiest situations going on. on the you East can't Coast put Coast. that on Jeremy. That has nothing. Excuse, to excuse me. He gave Gracie Gold that ballot about being down and out. She probably brought it to him, let's be honest. I think, do you think Jeremy had the cojones to say, here's something about a girl who fell apart who's trying to fix it. Want to do it to that? No, she had to have brought it to him. He and Michael Solonowski took her to see it on Broadway. I'm just saying, I am just saying, we don't know, we don't know. I saw it on Broadway and I definitely did cry during She Used to Be Mine. <laughs> and I saw it with the cast that also had I like to listen to it in the car and Michael Shanley will go, that song is terrible. He also hates the Nicole Kidman show on HBO even though he is the whitest person of all time. Amazing. I cannot speak to the Nicole Kidman show, but that is a very powerful song. I like Sarah Bareilles. I do too. Okay, you know what? Yeah, she is an artiste. She was on that show where they would lips, they would do like the college karaoke, you know? With oh, I'm like with the Bubba. Jesus, Jesus Christ Superstar. That was true. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. She loves Jesus, so do I. <laughs> Be like, you know. I thought John Legend was good in that, but now we know that, like Jeremy's coaching Alyssa Liu with Massimo Scali right now. Oh. It's like they're inviting Christine Brennan fights with the mother. <laughs> <laughs> it is like they are just opening the door for Christine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But will she take, will she go through it? I would just like to point out, I don't think you can blame Jeremy. No, no. Comment. Yeah. People will try. People will make snarky comments. Jonathan, that exhibition was like. How's this gonna go? The Gracie Gold performance was not the 9-11 moment mm. of Skate America. Now a 9-11 moment is something that is so surprising and shocking to your system that you will remember where you were for the rest of your life because it shook you to that core. Like where were you when JFK was shot? Where were you when 9-11 happened? Where were you when Michelle lost the 97 Nationals? Where were you when Gracie skated at the Ross Telecom? Oh, I thought you were gonna still going. Where were you when you found out Michelle was silver? Where were you when you found out Michelle was Where bronze? I remember those Olympic moments very clearly. Where were you when Alyssa Liu skated the Skate America exhibition? Mm. Is it still up? Oh yeah. 
I almost so, don't want to watch, watch it. it for five minutes because now NBC will be like, oh, oh, yeah. maybe they won't realize. <laughs> like, yeah, that's performing. Mm. That's tough. You know, the fans will be like, maybe she was doing doubles because of the spotlights. And then why do it? Especially if there's no live crowd and it's kind of like, what's happening here? I mean, they're trying to keep her in the public eye, obviously, but like, it's not, it's quality, not quantity. Well, although I don't know that's true outside of skating. You know what? How many random people that tuned in to NBC that day knew the difference? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the super fans, we, we're, we're all obviously gonna look on very closely, but maybe they don't even notice. Tessa knows. That surprised me, Dave. I should have watched that. So I could have had more to say. I, I didn't realize that was a thing. Maybe we can film a Patreon bonus where you watch it for the first time. Okay. <laughs> Putting my patience and kindness to the test, Dave. <laughs> Always from a place of understanding. Everyone's doing the best they can. We Jonathan, know. I want you to imagine watching it. Imagine if you were a judge as you've been for many pageants, right? Yeah, and singing competition. And you know how you saw those girls that couldn't sing or dance, so they wore those flags that they were like. I remember that, that was a, that, that, yeah. And I want you to imagine that out walks Gabby Dalman singing uh -oh. Neil Babino Caro. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that is the level of this performance okay 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 all right with that knowing that moment alone dave you have convinced me to knowing that yuki signed this girl and the usfs and mitch and they thought she was she was the one who was going to take down the terry she was the one and think about it they've given her the marks, two national titles that could have gone the other way if you were right. with opponents in a different way. Right. Honey, honey, I- Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see. Maybe she'll compete junior this year. <laughs> Marin Honda looked miles better. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 But I will. I find a Marin Honda um, program like that more heartbreaking because of what, what, what is there? And yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Hate. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I'll watch it. What's coming up now, competition wise? We have the, we well we have the cup of Russia because they're going along like you know the virus isn't real so we are so this is one I should still be tuning in for NBC well, Premium honey yes okay all the Russians are going to be together not just at nationals to warm the Christmas spirit they're going to be competing and it's unclear if if Genia Medvedeva will be competing I don't think that she will be she's got the back they're going to have to push her to yeah the obviously we know she probably won't but um but see the interesting okay. thing Danny G said that Zagitova that we saw her short and free programs Danny G told me that that was her program and that she's going to be at the nationals and, or and he didn't say she's going to be at the nationals but that you know she's been doing more training and less studying and well I've watched her performances on Ice Age and you might encourage her to hit the books yeah Get that in. Now she's got, when she runs forward on that Esmeralda program, like- I was I, like, there's some speed. <laughs> there was some drama happening, okay. Oh my God, I wish I remembered what I was gonna tell you about Tuesday. Tuesday was something, something happened on the ice. <laughs> I was like, oh, I gotta tell Jonathan about this. Like, oh, this yeah. Now I'm so intrigued, every day yeah. Yeah, but exactly. After I had 80 minutes of Galena the other day, and then I went to pay her. And then she was like, no, go practice your spins. Because we didn't get, we spent so much time on the flip, we didn't get to the spins, right? I get back on the ice. And Nina is speaking loudly to someone who's doing a run. It like sends chills through your body. Like, mm. stretch that leg. Like, okay, I will. 
I don't, maybe the girl couldn't hear her. I, I don't know. I just, I, I, I was like, the apple doesn't fall far from that tree. I don't. Yeah, know. exactly. Yeah. We all mimic what was modeled in some ways. Yeah, those lessons. I mean, I'm still looking. Does anyone know Fatima from Mexico? Okay. There was this girl. Remember, I skated with her on the sessions before quarantine. She was not a jumper, Jonathan. It doesn't matter. Most of our favorite artists are not. <laughs> he skated like baby Oksana Bayul, doing Senorita with the shimmy and all of the good. Look, Nina has some like signature moves. You know, she likes to go like this and then this and then this. Like I am so ready for my moment, okay? okay. And this girl could do all of it, okay? She, could be, I, like she needs an Instagram moment. I don't care if she can't do a double act so because she can do the shimmy and the shay i like i would cheat for her in whatever division she is in okay yeah like, like we could have her like i don't know like a telethon like we need to find this girl someone needs to find who the hell is in figure skating without an instagram that, why like, can't you call those like, sisters call what? those sisters i did but you know the mad they're like all com competitors in these countries no one's okay got it okay they, they weren't gonna help okay. can't just ask nina even though we see her at the rink Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> daughter's approachable to you, like no. Okay, understood. Understood. I'm to say hello to you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, so Roman Sarah is there on Tuesday, right? And he was asking Anton, like he's like, "Who's Galena's student?" And like I don't know if he recognized me from YouTube and was like, "Who is that?" And she was like, "The best student. He doesn't talk." And he doesn't have a mother. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She does his off ice training with him at home. <laughs> She's very upset about Mariah Bell's um, uh, ABBA program. We all are, yeah. And then I was asking how she felt about Kostunaya and she, she turned the conversation as one Russian queen does. And she goes, well, who's the best skater in America right now? You're like, this is not a competition. We're so far behind. No, it's no, not no. Even I was just like, talking. it's like, I don't know. And she was yeah. like, that's right, there is none. And I was like, I agree. I agree. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the quote machine doesn't come out. I mean, yeah, just, she like, needs, she's a meme maker. Yeah. Remember, it's like, wave to Trump. No more Trump. And <laughs> you do your flip job. And flip. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like, you get that arm across, baby. Okay. Out of a C step. Out of a C step. <laughs> Out of a C step. Okay. Okay. And then I can, I don't think I can say this word because there are people that are gonna so there's like a bad word in Russian that you'll be allowed to about maybe call someone else at the rate. Maybe she says it didn't happen. Okay, but maybe I I, I know this story. Yeah. So you know that like now we just call everyone this at the rig, right? So <laughs> this girl with Christina has pretty hair who works at the ice house and she was hating on my Kristen and Igor mask because she was like, I have a Krigor mask because it's the only one I can breathe in. So I don't look like Plushenka when I am skating, like it's over the Nariz. And like, I have a big nose. So it's like over it, you know, with the covering and like, she was like, you're in the ice house. Why are you wearing that? And I was like, um, do you have a problem? Like you, you didn't give me a mask. Why is there an ice house mask? So she's supposed to be getting it. So, you know, we're gonna have to see if the girl with the pretty hair named Christine is going to like, to let her shut up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is that moment, yeah. We'll have to see. I don't know why you're not wearing the Tessa one. I'm just saying. Because I have a big Too elegant. Shot, right? And I have to ask my friend Teresa who does my glasses, but like, I feel like when she does, she like bends the back by my ears a little bit. When I wear that thing, it like hurts my ears because it's like- Oh, not it's not adjustable strap. Some of the ones now they have the adjustable straps. Okay. It's better to just be appreciated and seen, but to That's actually right. wear it and skate and like, yeah. Uh, yeah, difficult, of course, yeah. It's hard being a diva, Jonathan. It's hard. <laughs> Tell me about it. Hold an extra look. Bye guys.
همه 